is turn up and there's a camera in your face and, and there's like a crew of people, four people, there's four people there. They don't say a, say a word to you. It's really weird. Hi. 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 Hello, boys. <laughs> LA. Why LA? For me, it has been the perfect escape to go away and do the album. There's a gym on every block and there's a studio on every block. It's like record making paradise here. You know, Spice Girls were really full on for about three years and like the, the big climax of that was the world tour. And it came a time in some of the girls' lives to have children, you know, which is, we've always been really open and really honest. Like, you know, we've always known if anybody, you know, met somebody who they wanted to settle down with, someone to be the father of their children, then they were free to go, you know, there's no, oh my God, you can't have children, it ruins the band. That's do you know what I mean? So it was just really, really weird that Melanie and Victoria got pregnant at the same time. I just thought, well, you know, they're having a baby, they're, they're having babies, great. But I'm, I'm not having a holiday. I can't have a holiday, I'm a workaholic. So what a great opportunity, you know, to do some things on my own, which is, you know, something we've all always said. Melanie's always wanted to do her own stuff. I've always wanted to do my own stuff. You know, Victoria's got things she wants to do. You know, Emma's doing other stuff as well. So, and Jerry is as well. Loving you made me will be forever. I see the ocean in your eyes when we're together. There are no boundaries, there are no limits. My heart has been embraced now that you're in it. Hold me closer to your dreams, closer to your fears, close to hear your laughter. Imagine waking up and being a Spice Girl, you know, because we're only the same as everyone else, but we are actually one of them. It is, it's pretty daunting, but it's fun. Now I'm dead lucky. It's just like a dream come true. You'd have to pinch yourself all the time. I know it's, it sounds really naff, but it's true. You don't think, I mean, ever since I was a kid, it's all what I've always dreamed of. I mean, but that, that's what our lives are like. All the Spice Girls, it's just like a dream come true. So many people come up to me in the supermarket and they say, I can't believe it's you. I'm like, why? And like, you do your own shopping. It's like, who else is going to do me shopping? And I love supermarket shopping. But say I go shopping with Emma, like in Bread Cross or something, um, then that can be pretty hectic. Or like if it's me and Mel, if there's a couple of us together, then it's pretty manic. But if you're on your own, you learn the tricks of the trade, right? You just keep your eyes down and move quickly. And you can't go shopping with your mates because your mates like to look at all clothes like that and go, oh, that's nice, what do you think of that? You can't do that. You see, when, when, when people know who you are, what you have to do is know what you want, go in, get it and leave. And that's it. That's the secret. The secret to being a Spice Girl. <laughs> I love all kinds of music, which I think most people do, you know, if something's good then you like it, it doesn't matter what genre it is, I'm not, you know, I don't just listen to that. But I do love rock music, I think, because you know what, what you grow up with, like listening to your mum's records and stuff, there was always a lot of rock in the house. In the house! But, um, oh God, I don't know, Madonna's always been a really big inspiration to me, um, not only in music, just her attitude, and I, you know, I just think she's really intelligent and really talented. Working with Rick Rubin, because he's done great stuff and so diverse as well, 
He's done, you know, loads of hip hop. He's done Black Street. He's done loads of rock. He's done all the Beastie Boy stuff. He's just done Red Hot Chili Peppers' new album, which is fantastic. Thank you. Very much. She gives it her all, and she's really committed and is willing to do um, whatever work. She's not at all. There are many artists who get it good enough and are ready to move on, and she's willing to do whatever it takes and sing it a hundred times and. Even after it's good, I might say, well, why don't we try something a little different? And some artists are just like, it's fine, leave it alone. And she's, whatever it takes, let's do it. Like, I'll just say, you know, I think this would be better if something else happened here in addition to what we have. And she'll just come up with like three different parts and really make the song a lot better. She's really musically gifted. You know, at the end of the day, it's my album, it's my track. If I'm not happy with it, then it is my decision. And all the producers, you know, respect that. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's a two-way thing. So I'd, I'd say, oh, you know, I wouldn't go, that shit. I'd just say, I don't like that. I wonder what it would be like. I'm longing for you. I like to write about experiences that I've had or, you know, people that I've met and things like that. But this one is just about someone who I do like. And I wonder what it would be like. But um, I, I can't go into it too much. <laughs> But listen to the lyrics anyway if you're interested. And it's just about somebody at my gym. I see you every day, I've known you for a while. You always say hello, I love the way you smile. Do you have any idea what she and your does to me? This is my modest LA trainer collection because all my trainers are at home. So I came out here with three because I hate carrying them all on the plane. But I've been here for three months now and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I thought I had more than that. Seventeen. That's, that's, that's bad, isn't it? I'm trying to border the whole room. That's the actual aim. I'm happy without you No matter what they say Now I think the thing is why I've got such a fetish with trainers because I, have, I don't wear shoes anyway apart from my puppies but this is I'm not the way Anyway then sometimes I just buy something really bizarre but um, the trainer thing, when I was a kid and I was at school, I mean, I think a lot of kids are the same. You have one pair of trainers for the whole year, and then September comes and you're in it, you know, another year at school, and you get a new pair of trainers. So now it's like, it's trainers every day. You know, I'd, I'd love, if I wasn't in the music industry, which is my, you know, my main thing, what I love to sing, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to compete, whether it be, you know, running or... I used to want to be a gymnast when I was younger. I'm quite into nutrition. I, I did used to be vegetarian, but I wasn't getting enough um, protein. <laughs> Which you can as a vegetarian, but when you're on the road, it's difficult. So it's a lot easier to... I eat a lot of fish and, you know, vegetables. 
a lot of salads and lots of fresh food. I just like to be fit and healthy. It makes you feel good, you know. Ha, okay, this is a, it's a spinning crescent. I'll do it with the jump as well. Might be rubbish there. All right, see you there. Yeah! <laughs> what else can I do? Probably look a complete doing. I like these ones as well. So you do a snap kick and you come back, watch it, because I get sand in you. And then do it. Yeah! And again? So, ha! 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 That's quite scary, actually. <laughs> To LA, darling. How have you got it? What's it? God knows, it is so, so mad. It's like I've, sometimes I will stop and think about it, but I don't like to think about it too much because it's just so freaky. Because I am from, you know, such working class, you know, it's such a, it's an industrial town, you know, up north, it always rains. And I don't know. I don't know, I really don't know. But I did it. They try to catch a falling star Thinking that she had gone too far She did but kept it hidden well Until she cracked and then she fell If all the history is true She's gonna end up just like you You made it to the other side but tell me who will be my guide They build you up so they can tear you down Trust the ocean, you'll never drown Who is next? Who's gonna steal your crown? You'll see I have learned my lesson well The truth is out there, I can tell going out into the desert to do the artwork for the album sleeve and hopefully we'll get some other stuff as well. I'm a very lucky girl actually because the people who travel with me, as well as being my PA and hairdresser, they're my very good friends. So we're just a girly gang on tour. What's, uh, what's the boss like then to work for? Well, I'm not the boss. We're all equal. The yeah, you're the boss. There's no boss here. We're all equals. We're a team. Fantastic. The best job in the world. Such a good girl. Yeah, right. She is say that. that. When you're in America, you just feel like you're in a movie the whole time. I mean, look at this. Look at us travelling here now. No, no, it's like being in film with Louise or something. It's not like going down the M6, is it? It's pretty glamorous. It is, isn't it? Actually, since we've been here in three months, we've been to one. We've been out once. One, yeah, we've been out once. <laughs> Yeah, we've been to one Hollywood kind of party. It was the director's party, wasn't it? And so we're all excited thinking, thinking, oh, you know, who's going to be there? I'm telling the story, right? 
<laughs> yeah, so we went to this honeymoon expect. party <laughs> and um, we were all excited thinking, oh, I wonder what stars are going to be there. We walked in and the first person we saw was Danny Bear. And he was like, I'm going to my own home, where am I? When we were here on tour, we went to a Courtney Loves party and there was, that was like a big Hollywood party. There was like loads of stars there, like all oh, the Arquette sisters were there, Cameron Diaz was there, Drew Barrymore, and you know, loads of like big, because to me, I think movie stars are like the biggest, I mean, Hollywood, you just think of big, like they're proper superstars, aren't they? Not little, little pop stars from England, you know, we're just, we're just smash it's famous. But, um, it was at this party and we were going, wow, look, that, oh my god, that, that, look, they're singing, blah, 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 whatever. And everyone was looking at us and everyone was going, I can't believe the Spice Girls have turned up. And we were like, oh, I can't believe you even know us. doing what I do, you know, I love to be on stage, I love to sing, I'm at my happiest when, I, when I'm singing, you know, so, I don't know, I, I don't want to come across like, you know, some muso, because I'm not, because I don't even play an instrument, do you know what I mean, I'm not the greatest singer in the world, you know, I'm not even that good, I'm just lucky, and I'm so lucky to be here, and, and so I don't want to jeopardise that in any way, I want to be the best I can be, and that gives me a buzz, I get high off that, you know, off improving myself and just striving to be better and better all the time, because I'm not good enough and I never will be. Oh, See that one, because well. that one's quite see-through, right, so uh, that's why I put the white vest underneath, but I think it ruins the whole line of it, so it's a bit, it's a bit nipply, but post-production we can sort it out, can't we? Those yeah, look, watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mix and match. Yeah. No, but look how long the arms are. <laughs> I've been part of one of the most successful bands ever in the world, which is really hard to say because you never think about it, but that's fact, you know what I mean? So so there's this part of me that, that thinks, yeah, if I don't sell, then I've failed. I don't know, so there's, a, there's all kinds of things going on inside you. The spice is going to be kind of just a little bit more rocky because one of them is kind of rocked out. And... The thing is, you know, in with Spice Girl stuff, what's quite cool, a lot of the pressure's off. When it comes to writing and you're on your own, it's nice because you can just, you know, you can just be yourself and do what you want. But then again, it's nice being with the girls because there's so many different influences. Because, I mean, the other three girls are, are quite R&B driven, you know, and it's not really something that I listen to a lot at all, much. But, um, but we can just incorporate it and we just bounce ideas off each other and, you know, and it's worked for, it's worked for three years. But I'll always be there in the background saying, what about guitar on this one? <laughs>
you know, for the girl that's got everything, the girl that's done everything, is there anything left? That... Of course there is. There's, the world is such a huge place. There's so much to do. I mean, even like something like today, for me, you know what I mean? This is a special treat. It would be for anybody coming to the desert. It's amazing. But, um, you know, obviously, I, I want it. I want my solo career to be successful. I want the, you know, the Spice Girls to continue to be successful. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm very career-led. But I think everybody out there probably knows I'd like to meet someone too, you know? I think that's a missing part of my life. Meet Mr. Wright. Meet the father of my children. You out there, stop hiding. Ha <laughs> ha.